So just about one week after we are back to biology classes. Hope all of you are fine and started your learning process. I am so happy that many of you have opted to biology stream. As you know, this is the stream which directs you to the prestigious, most reputed jobs in medical field, teaching, research field, administrative fields, etc. So, I wish you all the best in your studies and future. Every time students say, the problem of biology learning is number of facts. Okay, it's right. When it's in the preliminary, I mean basics, biology gives so many facts. I mean, more than 60% of biology in plus one, plus two level, it is factual, not conceptual. You can learn biology with concept knowledge only in higher classes. So here you are getting most of the cases as factual knowledge. So this is a problem of biology learning, of course. So you have to develop a method to tackle that. That means you have to overcome and you should know how to learn biology uh, interestingly. So today I am just giving you some of the tips to learn biology simple. And you can develop some tricks based on these tips. Okay? Okay? So, how to study biology easily? Hmm? For an example, we will just discuss some facts and how to develop some chords. You can make your own chords to learn it simple. Hmm? So, here, you know who has introduced the two kingdom classification of organisms. You know, it is by Carolus Linnaeus. You have studied in your ninth class. Okay, kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia. And you also know the five kingdom classification introduced by uh, R.H. Whitaker. Okay, so who introduced the five kingdom classification? It is by R.H. Whitaker. So always you will have difficulty to learn what are the features, okay, based on which he introduced this five kingdom classification. You know, it is introduced by R.H. Whittaker, Robert Whittaker and this classification, according to five kingdom classification, organisms are classified to kingdom 1, Monera, then kingdom 2, Protista, then learned I think, already you have learned it, kingdom 2, Protista, kingdom 3, Fungi, not in the same order, I write. Order of discovery is very different. We will discuss it later. Kingdom Monera, Kingdom Protista, Kingdom Protista, then Kingdom Fungi, Kingdom Plantae, and Kingdom Animalia. These are the five kingdoms introduced by Robert Whittaker in the five kingdom classification. Okay, on which basis he has introduced this classification. That is what is every time you have confusion. That means every time you have to learn it by heart. What are the characteristic features? Based on that, these kingdoms are introduced by R.H. Vitaka. How he classified certain organisms into this group and some other organisms into the next group like that. In detail you will study this. What are the organisms? What are the features that you will study later? Now just understand on which basis he has introduced this classification uh, strategy. See, he classified organisms into five kingdoms based on these main features. Number one, mode of reproduction. Number two, cell type. Number two, cell type. Number three, phylogenetic relationship. Means evolutionary relationship. Phylogenetic relations. Then, number four, mode of nutrition. Mode of nutrition. 
and number five talus organization talus organization okay so what i mean is based on this observations i mean with this differences or similarities in detail he has classified organisms into five different kingdoms okay then see you have to by heart this things always everyone says biology we need to by heart okay just to develop a code and study what are the features here uh, i am just giving an example you can make your own codes okay here you can just see the code r e c p m t c p m t this is the code okay re c p m t Hmm? R C P M T R stands for reproduction, C for cell type, P for phylogenetic relation, M for mode of nutrition, T for talus organization. Usually, even in the entrance question options, it is there. Which one among this is not a characteristic taken into account by R S P Tucker? Such questions may be there. So you have to learn this. No need to by heart it. Just develop a code word. Okay, this is enough. Read CPM. Just expand it and study will be easy for you. Okay. And next trick. Okay. Come to the next trick. Here, you know what is a unisexual and unisexual organs. What is a bisexual organs? Hmm. So what is an unisexual organism? Unisexual, bisexual. Uni means. Uh, not out. What is one? Okay, unisexual organism has only one sex. That means it is either male or female. Male or female. Not out. It is either male or female. Single sex in one organism. Then what is a bisexual organism? Bi means two. That means it has both male and female in one organism. male and female sex organs are present in one organism here is either male or female there is both male and female parts in the same organism i think here there is no any case of doubt uni means single sex here bi means two sex in one individual whereas similarly you are going to use another term monoecious dioecious here only it gives confusion Then, in order to remember that, you can just see this trick. Okay, monoecious, dioecious. If the same uh, word we use, mono means single, single sex is not single sex. Monoecious means two sexes are there. Dioecious means only single sex. So we cannot uh, move to that uh, typical word meaning. Okay, just keep M here. M stands for. You can just. Remember this monoecious and dioecious. Based on this chord, M stands for marriage. Here, remember with marriage. Okay. Here, D stands for. Just remember it with divorce. That means in monoecious, there is marriage means both the sexes are male and female are together in one. Okay. Here, D for divorce means male is separate from female. Just keep in mind and use this chord for uh, understanding monoecious and dioecious. Similarly, you can develop interesting chord to learn biology, and it is not much that there should be a meaning. Okay, it should make you uh, getting that term, that term. Okay, so another trick. We are moving to another trick. So actually, not a trick. You are learning something along with the trick. Okay, so here you are studying taxonomy. As a introduct as an introductory chapter in your plus one, you are learning why to learn taxonomy, and you know who is the father of taxonomy? It is Carl Linnaeus, Carolus Linnaeus. Okay, and in his taxonomy, he has arranged organisms into seven taxonomic levels. Okay, it starts from species. Okay. it starts from species okay then next higher level is genus then next higher level is family the next 
rank is order then class i just remove this class phylum and the last one kingdom now the taxonomy you have learned last year in the beginning you have studied carolus linnaeus is the father of taxonomy here you are just making a, a call to study taxonomical hierarchy in taxonomical hierarchy species is the lowermost rank a group of i mean many species belong to one genus many genera belong to one family many families belong to one order many orders belong to one class many classes belong to one phylum many phyla belong to one kingdom he will study it in detail anyway you know that human beings homo sapiens is a species it will it, it is in homo genus it is in hominidae family like that the order classification moves on okay then in order to study this order even when i write i am just thinking it what is the next to rank anyway you are writing it from what uh, bottom to top otherwise also you can write other way also you can write then we have to develop a chord to study that even i miss in order okay then we can just develop a chord to study this okay okay call in place from this order to downward the first chord place c cricket on on flat grounds okay s is for species c colony k for kingdom p for phylum c for class o for order f for family g for ground and s for species this is a simple chord to study the start hierarchy taxonomic hierarchy from top to bottom similarly you can develop a chord to study from uh, base to top usually we write from here to there okay with this chord some girls from our class our class play kabaddi okay see similarly you can develop any interesting sentence using this first letters then anything do not publish it you can keep in mind it is not compulsory that there should be a meaning okay in which way you can remember that in that way you develop a chord and study if it is difficult to memorize these things in the order okay some girls from our class play kabaddi from here to there hmm? this is the thing s g f i mean family f order o c class p phylum k kingdom hmm? so i did this okay for you so i am giving you one book hmm? you yourself make a chord hmm? and if possible you just uh, send it to me hmm? yeah, through the google classroom you can send back then which is the best chord i will uh, just announce it back okay so you know biological organization hmm? biological organization means how all living organisms are organized it starts from single cell a molecules atoms level we are not moving cells okay cells are organized to form what uh, tissues cells are grouped to form tissues okay tissues are grouped to form what what organs okay then organs are the part of organ system okay organ system then organ systems are the part of organisms if organism if many repeatedly or comes means is a problem means you can write as individual okay hmm? develop a chord for this and it goes on i mean it was the next ecological organization means it starts from organism ecological organization starts from one individual many organisms together what is one population okay 
many populations together it is what a community many communities interacting with the uh, i mean abiotic factors air water everything we call ecosystem is so all things you learn in detail i am just giving this to develop some thoughts okay then ecosystem many ecosystems form landscape under one climate area it forms biome next category is biome and many biomes of the universe biosphere all together biosphere okay so your focus just develop a chord an interesting chord for remembering this in the order and also this in the order okay and this is what is called biological organization biological organization okay it starts from the cells again uh, the lower level it moves means non cellular level moves means molecules atoms this all come okay biological organization okay whereas this one is ecological organization okay ecological organization that means here it starts with an organism here it starts with an organism see in our body many cells are functioning together as tissues many tissues make a part of organs many organs work together is making an organ system and many organ system and all organ system will constitute the individual organism and such an organism is the basic level of a uh, ecological organization starts with an organism one individual many individuals of the same species one population and such a kind of many populations interacting human beings ants plants all interacting means that is a community there also no any connection in community there is no connection with the climate and then community when it interact with the climatic factors air water uh, soil everything we interact means that is an ecosystem okay many ecosystems of the same area we can say when we look outside we can say forest okay uh, river such a, such means we can call it as a landscape now uh, many landscape of the same climate zone is a biome okay all the biomes of the earth represent biosphere and this classification also is coming in plus 2 later you can study it but just you develop a chord to remember this order either in ascending or uh, descending ma'am that's all just post that book to me hmm? see you in the next class thank you